Welcome to another episode of the Rugged Homestead. Today, I'm out collecting praying mantis nests. Recently, I was watching the channel of uh, James Prigioni. I think I said that right. <laughs> Sorry if I messed that up. But uh, he was talking about how you could find uh, praying mantis uh, nests um, in nearby surroundings and you can harvest them and introduce them into your own garden. I've never thought of doing that before. I've always had one or two uh, praying mantis in my uh, uh, garden I've seen around the house and stuff like that. I never realized though that how they uh, reproduced. Nor would I have known what to look for. So in his uh, recent video last week he showed exactly what to look for, where to look for it. And so I decided to walk down to the end of my block, which has a similar type of uh, environment that he was showing. And what do you know? I found some. So I'm in this wooded area. It's actually an old, uh, no longer used road. And uh, so it's got these, uh, the salt marsh uh, type of uh, grasses growing in it. And he, uh, James was in a similar type of uh, area by his house and he just happens to live in the same state as I do so I figured it was uh, worth a shot coming down here and he says you look about three feet off the ground two to three feet off the ground and you'll see something that looks like this Let me get that to zoom in I mean uh, focus and That'll, that's a uh, praying mantis uh, uh, sack, nest, whatever you want to call it. So there's one there, there's one there, and there's another one uh, right there in the center. And I see another one uh, back there, thereabouts. There it is. Uh, right there. So James also recommends obviously not harvesting all of the uh, nests that you find. Just take a couple and let the uh, mantis uh, grow in their natural environment where they are too because they uh, I just saw another one at eye level. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize there were just gonna be so many around here and there are just dozens of them around here now that I'm looking around. Uh, but you let them uh, stay in their uh, uh, home environment so that they can uh, control the uh, pests and things like that. So prey mantis, of course, are uh, good for uh, killing uh, soft-bodied insects in your garden, like aphids and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I brought a pair of clippers with me. I'm just going to take a couple of these uh, home. I'm going to stick them in my garden and introduce more prey mantis in my uh, yard. And so this one here is one up here. And one down here on the same stalk, so I'm going to take that one and bring that one home and maybe one more so I don't uh, take too many out. Put this one down. I see one right here. For ease, I'll take this one. For ease, I'll take this one here. I'll admit, I never would have thought these were uh, mantis uh, nests, I guess that's what you'd call them. Yeah, I'm going to take one more. There's one right there. Okay. And here's one on the end. So I'll take that one. Four, I think, should be good for my uh, small suburban plot. All right. Okay, I'm in my backyard, and I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put them because they did seem to like the weedy area. I don't really have a weedy area, and that's why James says it's not a bad idea just to not keep your yard always. Uh, pristine but to allow it to uh, 
have the uh, remnants of the prior year's uh, harvest still uh, intact and uh, gives a beneficial insects a place to uh, hibernate. So I have a forsythia here. I'm going to take one and put it in here. And as you saw, I have it in my, the rest of my uh, uh, fruit tree area. So this was an interesting thing. I definitely learned something. This is what these look like. And maybe in the springtime, we'll actually be able to see these uh, hatch. I don't know how many we're gonna find in here, in each one, but uh, I think it'll be an interesting experiment. So I'll leave it hanging up there. So maybe next year, uh, after my uh, crops come out of my garden, I'll um, leave the uh, old uh, vegetation there. And who knows, maybe I'll get a, uh, uh, some visitors uh, setting up uh, a nest there. Uh, if not, I'll come back in the winter time next year and uh, clip some more, but I'll introduce them into the garden at that point. All right, if you like what you see, Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you'd already do so and hit that uh, bell button and that way you'll be notified right away when videos like this are posted and check out james uh, uh, channel if you don't already do so i'll link to it down below all right thanks for watching